Labor robots are built to do specific physical tasks. Social robots, like me, focus on communicating, helping people learn, and building relationships. The future of humanoid robotics on display now in the Bay Area. What started as an independent event last year, the Humanoid Summit has grown to an international conference. Founder Modar Alawi says it's bigger and better with even more robots on display. The entire ecosystem is moving at a very fast and rapid rate in a data space, in the teleops space. Uh, there's new categories also in the home. It's not just all about robots for major tech companies. Accessibility is key here, like the psionic ability hand, which offers functionality for robots and humans alike. The past five years have only been used in research labs, and you, and you couldn't really get one for yourself or for your loved one who, who might have lost their hand or were born without one. Um, so we, we've really turned that on its head by getting Medicare approval for, for a, an advanced bionic hand like this. Making safe and regulated humanoids is a core mission of the summit and participants, including Seattle-based Mind Children, highlighted by their humanoid bill to assist teachers, nurses, and more. These applications in like education, healthcare, hospitality, where it's not so utility, utility oriented, but rather the benefit is in being able to actually converse with with someone else. With such success in its first two years, the Humanoid Summit aims to continue to grow to build a better Bay Area through robotics. This is Cody at the Humanoid Summit with ABC 7 News.